Hello there, and welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. In a previous video, I opened up a box of Star Wars Hot Wheels toys. In this video, I've got another box. I continue with the vehicles and, well, with the cars and the vehicles from 2019 through 2020. They're kind of neat. I like them. They're a good addition to my collection. You want to see them? The Hot Wheel designers come up with some wild and crazy vehicles. Um, and they also do a good job of coming up with the actual vehicles based on Star Wars ships. But of course, they also have fun with vehicles that they create based on Star Wars characters. These are the cars and vehicles from the years 19, 2019 and 2020. You're probably going to get a kick out of these. Leave a comment below. Let me know which ones you like. This two-year series involves characters and vehicles throughout the Star Wars universe, from the original trilogy to the Mandalorian. So it covers a pretty good area. Let's see what I have. I don't quite have them all. I've got quite a few of them, but I am missing a couple. So maybe someday, hopefully, I'll come across them or be able to buy them online, or maybe somebody will give me some. I don't know. But we're going to start with the cars because they're kind of fun, and then we'll move into the actual Star Wars vehicles. The first one is a good start. It is Baby Yoda's vehicle. And as you can see, it's kind of a cool little one. It's got actual uh, Baby Yoda head in almost like a mini Volkswagen type body without the top of it. Now, of course, they're not calling it Grogu here because we didn't know Grogu's name yet by that time. But we're calling it the Child, and that is kind of a nifty car. Um, it's okay. I... Not a big fan of this one. I don't know if you are or not. I like some other ones that are coming up that really fit the characters well. I guess this one does fit the character, but I like the other ones better. So, the next one, see that we had the child here. We may as well go to the Mandalorian. And as you can see, this one's a little more fitting with the style. We've got a nice chrome, if you want to call it that, chrome-covered... Uh, Vehicle there, a little bit of a hot rod style because we know the Mandalorian likes speed. So yeah, not too bad. This one would probably work really good on a track. It'd be fun to try this on a Hot Wheels track, wouldn't it? See how well it goes. Sticking with the Mandalorian theme, let's go to Cara Dune's vehicle. And as you can see, Cara Dune's is a little more adventuresome. Yeah, this one's kind of almost, almost kind of a cross between a dune buggy and something else. Um, kind of has her colors on it. And I could see, yeah, this, I could see her actually driving this. It's kind of a nifty little car. Um, not too bad. Which one of those three do you like the best? Now, we're going to move on to a uh, bit of the Clone Wars. We're going to move on to Captain Rex. So as you can see, we've got the Captain Rex colors there. Not too bad, uh, almost kind of a cross between a van and a car. It's got a kill count on the side of it. See how many of those Clone Wars droids he uh, destroys. So not too bad, this is from his first appearance. The next one is from the new sequel trilogy and it's the BB-8 vehicle. And as you can see, of course, it has the colors of BB-8 on it. has a bit of a round design to match BB-8 there. Um, yeah, it's okay. Again, not one of my favorite ones, but not too bad. We'll put him over by this end with the child. The next. Now, who would have known that we would get a car based on Neon Nub? Yeah, kind of a cool little thing. Now, of course, it has colors based on Neon Nub's uniform that he wore in the movies. Um, kind of a little more sleek design, possibly to fit his personality, his looks there a little bit. Not too bad. 
Very unique design. I kind of like this one. But we've got more to do. So the next one, well, it's about time maybe to get to the Stormtrooper, don't you think? And of course, Stormtrooper, basically going to be black and white. Nothing too fancy there color-wise. Uh, does very well fit the uh, Stormtrooper design. And I do like the, if you want to call it the mouth or the grill on the hood there. I think that adds quite a bit to giving it the Stormtrooper look. So there is the Stormtrooper. The next one is Darth Vader. And Darth Vader's got kind of an interesting little thing there. Of course, it's black, like most Darth Vader would be. Anything Darth Vader would be. But it has a lightsaber, if you want to call it that, that comes out the side of it. Probably to slice the tires of anybody else, you would not want to race him going down the, uh, down the road at all, like in uh, another Lucas movie, American Graffiti. I think he would take out his competition very easily. The next one is Lando Calrissian, and yes, you can easily tell this one is Lando's car. We have more of a classic car look there with the blue cape color that Lando likes to wear. A um, little bit of a, uh, well, a little bit of a square design there. I think that was kind of to match the insignia on his shirt that he was the uh, caretaker of Cloud City. But one of the really nifty things I like about this one is kind of the hood of the trunk because it looks like a cape flowing out behind him. Nice job on designing that one, I think. The next one is Chewbacca's. You gotta have Chewbacca, don't you? And this one, yeah, this is probably the only one that's really a, almost like a truck, if you look at that. Because let's face it, Chewbacca likes adventure. He likes to get in there. He likes it rough and dirty. And I'd be willing to bet this not only has a four-drive engine on it, it is going to go through anything that it comes across. Just look at the big tires on that bugger. So there is Chewbacca. The last one of the vehicles based on characters is Luke Skywalker. So there we have Luke Skywalker. As you can see, a little more plain, uh, very dirty. It's kind of weird. Look at that blaster type thing on the side of the car. I'm not sure how that fits in with Luke Skywalker driving around. And it also has, if you look at the bottom of the car, almost looks like a blue beam from the lightsaber there. And it's only on one side of the car. It's not on both. So, yeah, what do you think of this? Does this make you think of Luke Skywalker? Now, if we look on the back of these, we can see what cars were in the series. And from the looks of it, wouldn't you know it, there is a car for C-3PO. There is a car for R2-D2. I'm missing both of those. So don't have either one of those. And if we go to uh, Neon Nubs, we got a couple other ones on here. And from the looks of it here, I am missing Ray. Um, and if I look at one of the other ones here, that, oh, there is a there is another one for the Mandalorian. Kind of, uh, well, this one you've got the better armor. This one, there's another one without the armor. Um, so yeah, it looks like I'm missing possibly four of these cars. So not bad. I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven of them. But missing four of them. So let's get these out of the way and then move on to the actual vehicles that are in the series. Okay, the first ones of the bigger, the bigger sets or the bigger vehicles is not actually a starship. Most of these are going to be starships. This one happens to be another one from the Mandalorian and that is the hover pram for the child. So you can see this one, it does have a base with it so that it does appear to float above the ground. Has the child in his pram and kind of gives you that hover pram look a little bit when you put it together. So yeah, not too bad. I don't think it's the greatest entry. I like the other ships better. The next one out of the box here is the TIE Dagger. Now the TIE Dagger, a very unique looking ship. Um, <clears throat> based on the TIE Fighter, of course, these 
all the ones that are coming up here do have a clear base so that you can make it look like, kind of like they're floating above the ground when you display them. I don't remember where the tie dagger was. If you know, leave a comment below because I'm not sure if this is maybe from the uh, uh, TV series, the Clone Wars TV series, or if it's maybe from the sequels. But if you know, leave me a comment. The next one is the Vulture Droid. Okay, we know where the Vulture Droids are. They're from the prequel movies. So there again, kind of a nice Vulture Droid. Very colorful one. This one has all kinds of color markings on it and so forth. Not just a blah one. So I like this one. The Vulture Droid I do like. The next one out of the box is the Havoc Marauder. There again... I need to go back and watch some of these movies because I'm... Oh, this is from The Bad Batch. Aha, uh -huh, finally says it here. The Bad Batch. This one doesn't say where it's from. But it does say The Bad Batch. Okay, so that makes a little more sense. The Marauder, I think, is the ship that The Bad Batch drives around in. One of the first things from The Bad Batch to come out. Kind of a pre-look pre to... Uh, that. The next one here is the Republic Attack Gunship. Kind of a nice little detailed gunship there. It's got, uh, for being so small, it actually looks really decent. I do like this one. So, we got three more. The next one is not a starship. Nope, this next one is a ground vehicle. And that is General Grievous's wheel bike. So this one I kind of like. A uh, little different. It's got a lot of detail in there. And it even includes General Grievous riding on the side of it there. Um, I always thought this was one of the more unique sh vehicles in Star Wars because um, it doesn't, didn't seem to me to be real practical when you think about it, but it was fun to watch in the chase scenes. The next one is the Jedi Starfighter. Oh, yes, we've got to have this one if you're going to have anything to do with uh, Star Wars. And, of course, uh, this one, nice and colorful again. As you can see, some nice detail etched into it. So a nice addition to this collection. The next one, if you're going to have a Hot Wheels vehicle based on the original trilogy, you got to have Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder. And this is, uh, other than General Grievous's, this is really the first one that actually has a character in the vehicle. Well, I guess Grogu, too, is in this one. But there again, nicely done. Very nice detail for such a small little ship. The next one, this is a heavy one. And why is it heavy? Because it's a Jawa sand crawler. There's a lot of junk and a lot of draw Jawas sleeping in this thing. So it's going to be heavy, yeah. There again... Nice detail, looks very well used, a little bit rugged and so forth. Um, I'm sure the stand on this one's got to be a little, well, this one doesn't have one of the little things to make it float, of course, because this is a land vehicle. So this one just kind of sits on the base there. The very last one, I had to wait with this one till last. And that is because this is the Millennium Falcon. You've got to have this if you've got a collection of Hot Wheel vehicles, especially the Starships. So the Millennium Falcon. And there again, a lot of detail etched into the top of this thing. Okay, we've got these out. These are all I have. Which ones am I missing? Well, when I'm looking at the back of these, I can tell, well, on the Millennium Falcon here, I see I'm missing three. I'm missing the Razor Crest. I'm missing the TIE Fighter. And I'm missing an ATST Raider. Could I be missing anything else? Well, it looks like I am missing Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. I'm missing the Mandalorian speeder bike. Um, what else here? Okay, these I've all got. And maybe those are the ones I'm missing from the looks of it. Oh, there is a Y-Wing fighter. I am missing the Y-Wing fighter, so I'm... I'm missing, oh, and a first order tread speeder. So that looks like five. Five of them that I'm missing. Hopefully someday I come across them. I've got a little more room in the box. 
so I can keep it with the series in the box here and not have it spread out all over the place. That brings us to an end of this video. What do you think of these? Which are your favorites, first of all? Which parts? Do you like these, the bigger starships? Or do you prefer the actual little cars that you could use on your racetracks and so forth? Which one of these do you like best? Which one of the cars do you like best? Leave a comment. Let me know. I like reading your comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because it does help other people find us. And of course, like the video because the YouTube algorithms, algorithms really like it when the videos get liked. And it makes me feel better too. It makes me feel good about making these videos when I get some likes to them. Well, that's it for this video. So until next time, may the force be with you and keep collecting. You know what? I just realized something. There was one more in the box that I didn't see looking at it from this angle until I was going to put things away. We have one here for Wrecker. Yes, another one from the Bad Batch. This is a car, kind of more of a Jeep truck type thing again. I like this one. It looks rugged like Wrecker would be. It looks strong. And it looks like it would really be fun to play with as a kid. So there we have it, Wrecker's Vehicle. Thought I'd throw that in there quick before I end the video.